But Sam Willie Cohen, it might be a busy day for you, Sam, joins us on, on the line now. Sam, how are you feeling? <laughs> uh, amazing. It's, uh, it still hasn't sunk in at all, really. We keep pinching ourselves to see whether it's, uh, whether it's true. But uh, no, it's, uh, it, it, it's a beautiful sunny day here and uh, we're all on cloud nine. I love that you have uh, not said I once when I've said, how are you feeling? You said, we're all pinching ourselves, we're on cloud line, because it felt like a family victory yesterday. Yeah, 100%. I mean, so much goes in. I mean, whether it's uh, with the horse, with Emma and his team, or, or at home, everyone getting excited and dreaming uh, that it could, could come off. So it's been, uh, it's been a long journey and uh, not one we ever thought would really happen. So uh, it feels unbelievable. I uh, interviewed your dad before the race, and you know he said uh, he was really proud talking about your national record. Was this your, your 40th ride over the national fences, he said? I, I think it might be, yeah. Someone, someone said that. I haven't actually counted, but uh, I think it is about that. Uh, we're watching the, the closing stages now. You're up against Mark Walsh uh, and any second now who ran such a good race last year. Did you think you were going to win? I hoped I was going to win. I knew I knew he kept something in his pocket from when I rode him at uh, Cheltenham. But to be honest, at that stage, it was it was go down on your sword, trying if you're not going to win. So it was uh, head down and all out. I mean, the, yeah, the celebrations were were absolutely fantastic. Um, what what's what's that feeling like compared to other nationals you've you've ridden in where? You know, I know you've gone you've gone close before. You've had some great spins before, but the the, the chance of winning after the last has never been a, a I guess a, a real possibility. What what's the difference in that feeling? What's the adrenaline like? Uh, I mean, it's an un, it's an unimaginable uh, high. Really, you can't can't put words on it. I think one of the strange things I think as, as the jockey is, is you still feel a lot of responsibility for the horse. So, um, you know, pulling up really conscious to look after him and. Uh, and, and of course, get weighed in. So you know you're you're enjoying it. You're on cloud nine, but your job isn't actually done. And so sort of trying to keep some sense of composure uh, while 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 enjoying it and helping everyone enjoy. It. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a real people's race. So you know, keen to make sure all the crowd got a sight of him and enjoyed it, and uh, and we could all really drink it in. It was uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty wonderful. Sam Dave Yates here. Congratulations for yesterday. Hey. Um, your father was just in shot there, and of course, you've had a, a, a long and enduring relationship on his horses. 2011, you won the Cheltenham Gold Cup on, on Long Run. He was explaining the, 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 the correspondence that he received when you were riding from people who thought that he should put a professional on instead of you. It, it, in that sense, it's been an amazing relationship over the last decade or more, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, and and by all rights, he probably should have done. Um, you know, had a chance to to win a gold cup, and why wouldn't you put, you know, one of the one of the great stars of the weighing room on the horse? But but we've always done it together, whether it was pony clubbing, uh, doing pairs, or whether it was uh, you know the point to point. So uh, it's something we target doing together, and it was never really a question. I, I did say to him, look, if you want to put uh, put a pro on, you know, I'd, I'd understand. He said, not. Not even, not even a question of it. That was uh, so we, we just shots there as you were talking about amateur riders, pro riders of, of Mr. Marcus Armitage when he was riding, coming and giving you a, a big hug after after that success. How how's it been over the last few years? Because of course you know you, you, we knew you were bowing out here, but you have been riding less and less. It, you know, was there was there ever a feeling that your, your riding, your fitness was going to have suffered as a result, Sam? I mean, in in a way, once you've got. 20 odd years in the bank you, you do have a bit of experience I mean some of the jockeys riding weren't born when I first uh, was point to pointing and, and riding under rules so um, you know the COVID year was really challenging because just didn't get enough riding in and uh, and, and that that is difficult to, to miss a year when you're towards the end of your career um, and, and pick yourself up and, and, and get get back in the swing of things so that that was actually really tough this year being point to pointing I'm just so busy with work, so it's been uh, hard to ride in every in every race. But but truthfully, uh, I only ever really ride in thirty odd races under rules a year, and and turning up in King George's and, and things. Often I'd only had four or five rides in the season. I think when I won the Beecher, it was my third race of the season. So it's not totally 
unusual for me to have stand up when there's probably not as much practice as I'd have liked. I love it. Jerry McGrath sat next to us. He rides 30-odd races a season. King George, Gold Cup, Grand Nationals. Not yeah. bad. Yeah, Sam, Jerry here. Uh, Sam, can we confirm that you're definitely retiring? <laughs> yeah, over, over and out. I mean, it's always, it's always tempting, isn't it, uh, to keep going. But, uh, you know, I could not have imagined a better way to go out. And, you know, I said to some of the lads, for me, the riding, the racing is, is as much a love affair with, with all bits of the riding. It's the preparation. It's the... It's even the, the small days um, away, long away from the spotlight and the days where you start thinking, oh, I, I don't want to go three hours for, for this horse. Then, then, you know, then you need to be out. You're either all in or you're all out. And uh, as soon as that thought starts creeping into my mind, I was like, actually, this is, this is a good moment to, to call it a quick. Um, uh, yeah, the horse will only be eight next year, which is unbelievable to think. And it'll be a lovely ride, I'm, I'm sure, for, for someone, Sam. Um, really appreciate you joining us. Enjoy your day. Thanks, Sam. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Bye.